evaluate negative 5 squared minus the quantity 5 minus 12 times negative 3. We will start by doing what is inside the parentheses first. Notice inside the parentheses we have a subtraction problem. So we will rewrite this as an addition problem. So we add the opposite of 12. So what is 5 plus negative 12? 5 plus negative 12, the signs are different, so we will subtract the absolute values of the numbers and get 7. And we will keep the sign of the dominant number. And then we will write down the rest of the problem. There is nothing left to compute inside these parentheses, and there's nothing left to compute inside these parentheses. So now we will move on to our exponents and roots. Here is our exponent and root part of this problem. We see this as negative 5 squared. The square is only affecting the 5. So this could be written as 5 times 5 with a negative out in front. Every time we make a little change, we write the rest of the problem down. So now we can compute 5 times 5, which is equal to 25, and we will bring the negative in front. So we have now completed our exponents and roots step. Next we will do multiplication and division. Here is our multiplication part of this problem. Negative 7 times negative 3. Negative 7 times negative 3, the signs are the same, so the product will be positive. 7 times 3 is 21, and we get a positive 21. We need to bring down our subtraction sign, and the rest of the problem. We have finished our multiplication and division step, so we will move on to our addition and subtraction step. Negative 25 minus 21. We will change this problem to an addition problem by adding the opposite. We are adding negative 25 plus negative 21. The signs are the same, so we will add the numbers together and keep the sign. 25 plus 21 is 46, and we will keep the sign negative. So our answer is negative 46.